Hello, we are here to do a very quick tutorial. I recently covered the dance break to Hareve twice and you told me that it was too difficult and that you couldn't do it. And I am here to promise that that's not true. It is an intimidating dance break for sure, but it's just fast. The moves are not complicated at all. And I know that you can do it. So I'm here to just sort of break down the moves and hopefully help you get to where you want to be with that. Um, everything in this video is mirrored, so you're going to follow what you see. Uh, I'll try to say left and right as I go too. Uh, make sure you stretch, especially for this one. Stretch your arms, your shoulders, your hips. The movements are quick, which can put quite a strain on your muscle, even if they aren't super big. Uh, so make sure you stretch so you've got something to drink and let's go do it. Okay, so let's break down the moves. The dance break's pretty short, or at least the version that they release on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, all that. Um, it's, it's pretty quick. I think it's about like 14, 15 seconds. Um, definitely one of the shortest videos I've done in a while. Uh, but the moves are simple. All you have to work on is speed. It may take some time, but if you just keep practicing over and over, you'll build that muscle memory and doing it quick will be very, very easy. It could even be your favorite dance to do once you get it. Because uh, it's definitely fun, it's not difficult, but it's quick, it's definitely quick. <laughs> All right, so to start, you're just gonna stand, feet together, hands at your side, you're just standing normal center. I wish they would release dance practices for their Japanese releases because I would love to tell you exactly how to lead into it, but this is where the short starts. We're just standing and then they're going to sing Hare Hare. And with that, you're going to follow it with your hand. You're going to step your left foot out and you're going to sort of lean with it a little bit. While you lean, you're going to bring your hand open, palm out, uh, yeah, palm facing forward. You're going to bring it up and catch it down here, right about chest height while you're leaning. And then you're going to push it back once and lean back up and hit it one more time and sort of pause. And that pause is super brief. Like I said, this dance is very, very quick. So when you're practicing the moves, do it at whatever speed is comfortable. And then just slowly, slowly increase the speed until you're at 100%. And you won't even know how you got there. But um Practicing at a slow speed is definitely key here and kind of knowing exactly how long you want to hold things for. Uh, when I was learning this dance, I really did it at half speed over and over and over until I knew the moves 100%. And then I went into 7.5 to sort of pick up my pace. Uh, from there, I, I just kept going back and forth between 0.75 speed and full speed until I stopped making mistakes and I felt like I was quick enough. Uh, I think the big key is not when you feel like you've just done it enough and more like when you feel good while you're doing it. If you feel like you're hesitating or you're nervous, it's going to be a little more difficult because it's so quick. You have to be ready for every next move. So we're going to step out and lean, catch ourselves, and then wipe back once and twice. So that's just a wave to the left and then wave in one full circle and then back to the right. So once you land here, you're gonna take both your hands and push down. While you push them down, you're gonna push your knees in. So it's just a quick step out, one, two, push down. On the up, you're gonna lift your left foot first and then you're gonna repeat the move and lift your right foot. So you push down, and you pick up your left foot. You bring your right hand. You want everything to stay tucked tight. This is like sharp, clean moves. You don't want to be too flowy in this. So it's hare, hare, down, up, down, up. On the second pick up, you're going to turn your body to face more towards the right. When you do this, this foot's going to come down, and these are going to stay right here instead of going down again, and we're gonna flap them twice. Uh, flap them once. Sorry, I promised to help you learn the moves and I don't even know them. All right, so we're gonna start from, we've just come up, push down, pick up, push down, pick up, step, step. 
from here, you're going to take your hand and you're going to just, you're just going like this, just a wiggle, and with this hand as well. So we've stepped, and so this hand's going to go up, will this, up, palm out, will this hand, I'm trying to think of the words for this, I'm sorry. So we're going to push this hand up and push this hand down. So we've just stepped. And we're just going to swoop them and land so that the back of this hand is facing up and the palm of this hand is facing up. And you're going to tilt your head with that and just sort of lean a little bit to the right while you catch this. Then you're going to pump your hands twice. Like you're move, I guess sort of like you're moving a box in maybe the most awkward way imaginable. Um, so you're going to pump twice, and what you do, you're going to take your left knee, and you're just going to twist it in with both of those pumps. So let's wrap everything up in a nice little bow. We'll go through all that again. Start standing center. You're going to step out and push to the left, and then twist yourself back up to the right. Push down, knees in, pick up. Push down, knees in, turn to the right. And then we're going to land land and do our little twist land to the left land to the right sorry and then pump pump on the second one those are on her another hurray hurray it's pretty much just that over and over through the whole dance break on that second one you want to land really quickly so you've just pulled your knee in Instead of coming back here again, you're going to come up. So these hands are both going to come palm forward, up by your armpits, by your shoulders, and tuck your elbows in again. And then this leg, this leg will just turn to face to your left, and this foot will come meet it. So is that? So let's go from here. Pump, pump, land, land. And then swoop down, pump, pump, up. So that was probably the transition I had some of the most difficulty with, getting to here in time. It really affects the dance to get there on time. It makes it look much cleaner uh, and sharper. So keep working and you will get it. When I first tried this dance, I said, maybe this is too fast for me. It's not really trending. I shouldn't do it, but I did it. You can do it. So you're going to land up here. And now we're doing a little bit of a shuffle. So I'm just keeping both of my knees loose and bouncy and twisting this leg. And I think they move forward a little. It's just hard to tell with the references that are available. If you feel like a shuffle forward is what you want to do, by all means, work that in there. Um, but for me, <laughs> we've landed here. And then I just bounce my knee, my right knee out, and I pull this hand straight arm all the way out. And then you bounce again, and now this one's bent at the elbow, like you're holding something at about eye height. And then you're going to bounce again, and this hand's going to come all the way up. Now I learned Momo's part. If you want to learn Nyon's part, she just, I believe, turns with her hands that have been here now open. She might move her hands, but I'm not positive because I learned Momo's part. Now Momo's part, after those three little, come here, one, two, three, you're going to drop right down onto your hands on your thighs, put, point your fingers in, and your knees are bent. So from there, you're just going to rotate your body. It's a nice, simple movement. So we've come to here. And we drop, and at this point, Nyon's singing, baby, come on, baby, come on. So you're turning for that. And, you know, you want to make it look nice. Give them a smile. See, if your hair's here, then you could probably flick it. Um, just be careful, because that movement's very smooth. So you don't want to make it into too much of a sharp twist. It's just smooth moving, because Nyon's moving the whole group in the dance break. So we're going to go... Let's just go from here. So you're going to turn, and from there you're going to stand right back up. So don't worry about your feet being perfectly turned to the right. 
you're going to come back to stand center right away. So let's go from, let's go from here. So we've just landed after doing our little wiggle. Pump, pump, catch. So remember, you're going to pump in and come back, and then pump in and come up. Don't reset for that second one. Step out, step out, step out, drop, turn, and come back center. Now, you want the, the turn to look nice and smooth and controlled. So slow yourself down for just a second, but then you want to hop right back up and get back into it because you need to step out and step out for this ne these next moves. It's very quick. Like I said, it's very, very quick. Please practice at whatever speed works for you and then build up from there. It'll make it so much easier to learn this dance. So um, just so you know, with YouTube settings on a computer, at the very least, you can adjust the speed, but you can go even deeper than those presets. There's a little custom button, so you can go, say you're comfortable at 50% speed. You can go to 55, and then go to 60, and then go to 65, or even smaller increments. Whatever you need to do to build it up to speed, uh, YouTube can provide that for you. <laughs> so take your time learning it. It's not that it's difficult, it's that it's fast. So we've just, uh, we're here. We're here. So we drop and we turn. And then we stand right back up because we're going to go ha -le, ha -le. So just like that, you're going to step your left foot out first, knee facing to the side. And you're going to push your hands, open flat palms to the right while you follow your knee with your chest. You're going to go like that and come in quickly to switch it and then just copy that move to the other side. So your knee and your chest, your knee and your chest are going to go towards the right, but your hands are going to go towards the left this time. So we've just turned and we pop up, pop, pop. And then from here, you, you'll want to drag this foot in quick so you can step back with this one, you're going to hit both of your fists to the left and bend your knees so that you can start pulling it in. So we'll go from there. We've just popped up from our little squat and turn. We're going to go one, two, three. Those aren't, those aren't counts like dancing, sorry. I'm just counting the order the steps are in. Um, the, the counts on this are probably quite quick. I'm not great with counts, so I don't include them in all of my tutorials just because I don't want to like lie or miseducate you. <laughs> but we will go from here. So you pushed out, and then you're going to step this foot in front and step this foot out. So you want your legs apart and your knees bent. So it's just like a squat, but sideways. Um, for this dance, one thing I would say is to watch your posture. If you're hunched over like that for this, it's not going to look the same as if you keep your shoulders down and back. So that is, I think, crucial to this dance is making sure you have good posture. And then, of course, posture is important anytime you dance. Let's, let's go back to it. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so we've just stepped out here, and we're going to stretch this arm out and hit this one. Almost like we're hammering something or we're banging our fist on it. Uh, both your hands will go into fists for that. So it's open palms, push this arm out and hit this one. When you hit it, you're going to squat down. And then you just do a little walk in place while you pull your hand in. Mina, I think yeah, it's Mina. Yeah. Mina's going to say it's your time to shine. On time. You're going to take this little squat and you're going to deepen it by tilting your head back and squatting down just a little lower while you pull this left arm, so the arm that's away from the camera, further away, while you pull it up. So from here we step and we hit. And then you'll just do a little walk in place until you hear time. And then from there we're just going to slowly walk our legs back towards each other because they were separated for that squat. You're going to walk them in and she's going to say time 
to shine and you're going to hit shine twice. So right when she says shine, you'll flick and then you'll take about the same amount of time to flick a second time. When you do each of those flicks, you can move your head with it and you can stick your hip out. Not fully necessary, but it definitely adds to like the style and the tone of the dance. And that's all the moves. It's not hard at all. I promise, I promise. The thing that is difficult is definitely the speed. So let's go through each of these one by one. And then if you feel that you've learned enough, you can go ahead on to my practice with me video that I will be linking. Uh, hopefully there's a card. If not, at the end of all my videos is a link to my tutorials playlist and I know it's in there. So let's go through each of them and then you know the moves. You just have to get it up to speed. You can do it. Okay. All right. So we're standing center. Push to the left. Turn back to the right. Down, up, down, up, land, land. Wiggle, pump, pump, up. From here, we're going to step, 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 and then drop. Turn, pop up. We're going to step step and then hit walk it in time walk it back together to shine and you did it see it's not hard i promise you can do it i really believe in you if anyone uses my tutorial to learn the dance and then post it please please tag me i've got my links below i'm on instagram tiktok as well as youtube so wherever you put it i really really want to see it um, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for requesting it and enjoying my videos in general. I've been having a lot of fun lately. Um, have a great day. Go get something to drink. Go stretch. Bye.